Wow. Ooh, that is a pretty piece of cardboard. Whoa. Oh, wow. Huh? What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD. And today we are shripping a booster box of vicious rejuvenation but this is vicious rejuvenation uh we are stripping this box if this is your guys first time here and you're excited for this strip em extravaganza make sure not to miss it every week by hitting that subscription button down there and if you even hit that little ding dong bell you get notifications of when i make my videos and when these strip ems come live if you are a returning member of the joe crew thank you for your continued support let's get into this sha sha shrip all right, so we got this box of vicious rejuvenations. Um, each of these boxes has a box topper and the box topper has uh, a card in it. So that's a really exciting part about opening these boxes. We haven't had box toppers in quite a few sets. And we also actually have one blister pack just to open for fun. Uh, I thought it would be fun to open a blister and a booster. So here is Dragon's Knife for Shrip'em. As we get into here, get a full slice there okay what could be inside the shrimp -um? there are only a few ways to find out and they all begin with shrimp -um. so here's our box we have 24 packs in this and a box topper which is right here uh, i believe the box topper is one of five cards six cards so this is the box topper pack here and there are a total of six cards. There's two reprints, two promos, and two other promos, reboot leader promos. So let's uh, let's save this for the end. I think this this is a this will be our blessum pack here. So we'll have a double blessum. Let's get our booster packs out. And of course we have to blessum the pack and the booster. Oh, Tullus, your blessum is true. Pat your shoulder. Let's get into the strip them. Unison Warrior has been a really fun set. I have thoroughly enjoyed this set. I think the game is more diverse than it has ever been. I feel something shiny at the back of this pack. Ooh, out of the first pack. Wow, well that is Freeze and Cell, the match made in heck. I think this is a really gorgeous card. I love the way that the SPRs and the SCRs have been designed in Unison Warrior. So this is a really gorgeous one. I think we should take a little closer look at this one here. Let's take a little closer look at this. Uh, oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, whoa, wow. Oh, there's one shiny piece of cardboard. Wow, whoa, whoa, wow. That, now that, now that is some shine to be talking about. Oh, whoa, oh, yo, hi, yi, yi, that is a shiny. That is a nice shiny. Uh, shroom and salsa. Sounds tasty. I've never had mushrooms with salsa, actually. Ooh, a parallel foil piccolo leaders. And this is the Sin Shenron art. What a beefy, what a big guy. Look at the size of this guy. Some of these guys are just huge. You know, you see how large they are. All right, we got a slug parallel foil. There's some really large fellows in this, uh, in this story. Ooh, a parallel foil. Raditz, I actually think this is just one of the downright best looking parallel foils of this set. It's just so shiny. Um, it really, really pops and just looks really great. I, I think this is actually my favorite parallel foil of the whole set. Another shroom and salsa fourth art. Oh yeah, Tulls. Ooh, uh, Lord Slug, Thwarter of Plants. Slug has always kind of come in and out of the game. So I feel like any Slug SR cards kind of will find their point of value somewhere at some point in time. So that's our first SR. So we should be pulling, I believe it's four more SRs. This is a total of five SRs and one more SPR from this box. Gravi, Chain Attack Gravi. Unless we have a Secret Rare in here. In the case we have a Secret Rare, then trip them the pack. So if you guys have some of your favorite cards, you know, if you've enjoyed playing certain things in the set, I would love to hear about it. I think I haven't played as much during this set as I did for other sets. I feel like they were, oh, Turles. So it looks like we're pulling green. We've pulled two green SRs so far. That's a good looking Vecco. Looks like he had a little bit of a rough time. Maybe we took a tumble down a hill or something. Maybe not as coordinated as he wanted to be. Uh, if you guys have had fun playing certain builds this set, I would love to hear about it. I haven't really been uh, 
I didn't play as much this month as I usually do. I was away and, ooh, that's a good looking piccolo. A parallel foil. Pretty, very pretty card. Um, but I've definitely been interested in a lot of the different different stuff. I think the re Rejuvenate mechanic is really interesting, but I feel like there's more stuff that came out in set 11 that really shook up the meta. You know, they, obviously there's going to be decks from the new sets that just kind of hang around and make a name for themselves, sort of the way that P King Piccolo is, has done. Um, but if there's stuff that you guys have enjoyed playing, I, I like how everything everything really seems to have a check right now. There really isn't anything that's running around unchecked completely. Um, all the colors are kind of answering each other. And ooh, SR, uh, SR Piccolo, King Piccolo Dimensional Conqueror. I think this is a green, yeah, this is green, green SR. Good looking card. I just, I'm such a huge fan of wave foils. I love that they, they made the card stock for the parallel foils more like a wave foil and that they brought the wave foil back to the srs it just looks so great i think they brought oh that Majin Buu looks pretty good but i think the raditz the raditz just pops more for some reason for me um but yeah i think the rejuvenate mechanic is really interesting i just don't know um i just don't see it getting there i think it's really cool that the piccolo leader has the rejuvenate mechanic built into the leader i think that makes it more viable seeing it on a unison unison's just unisons are good and they are you know the the longer they exist the more answers they that come to them i think when set 10 first dropped there was really nothing that checked or answered unisons they just you just had to deal with them there was maybe one extra card that there was one blue extra card that i think knocked, knocked the marker off of unison but we're seeing a lot more stuff uh nice sr lord slug monstrous muscle what a muscle man look at the size of this guy these guys are just huge you know they're really really big guys you can tell by the size of their how small their head is relative to their body my parallel foil um, yeah, nothing was really checking, nothing really checked unisons when they, when they first came around, and I think we're seeing a lot more of that, especially with the support that just came in Battle Evolution boost through those wolves, those wolves really put unisons in their place, and another turls. I like the direct Japanese translation, I think it's tulls, T-U-L-L-E-S, which, uh, you know, resonates with me, um, and I think that's all of our SRs, so I think we just have an SPR left in this box. I'm excited to strip that revival pack. I really, all the cards in there are pretty awesome. Um, I think I have the most Bergamos. This card actually is really good. I can't just throw this aside. This card is amazing. And this is something that I think, you know, any black sand leader, this is definitely a card you should main or at least consider putting in your side because it really just checks every other color because black doesn't really have as many counterplays. So to have something on board that targets any kind of counter skill is really, really valuable. So I think this card is a really, really uh, good staple for black. Black sand leaders, at least. Um, which there are a lot of most most good black leaders are sand leaders it seems gohanks master student union whoever knew gohan and trunks will get their fuse on Shrip them. we only got three more packs here i wonder wow are we actually going to find the spr and the blossom the pack can it happen we're about to find out it's either going to be in this one or the blossom so let's strip them take a look here it is oh my god the spr is going to be in the bless in the pack and we know it the question is what sr is it oh pack it be bless it what card it do you hold it inside your spr do share i hope it's the goku the, the young goku that's uh that's definitely my most interest to pull and it is ooh janenba uh, you can see they spelled his name with an M here, but this card's actually really good. So I think this is a great SR to pull. It's a three drop crit dual attack. That's just, that's really good. And you know, for blue to have, uh, to have things like this that can come in and just deal damage, you know, it doesn't have deflect, so it could get bounced to your hand. And there's other ways to play it. I believe that uh, if you have, yeah, you can play this off of having a skillless in your battle area. So if you have a two or three cost skillless in your battle area, you can just play this out for free, which is pretty hefty to have a 19k dual attack crit just coming in. And then we got another invader of earth here, parallel foil. 
the die dies. Wow. Ooh, that is a pretty piece of cardboard. Whoa. Oh, wow. Huh. Look at that. Look at the look on this guy's face. That wow, this is in excellent condition. The centering is really good. They did a really fantastic job centering this. Uh, the gold foil stamping is just, they really stepped it up. The back looks great. No imperfections on the back. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, that's really good. This is a really great pull. Really nice looking SPR. Tell me about it. Let's get this guy in a sleeve here. It's going into the SPR binder. Got our other Blessum. I can't believe we got the SPR on the Blessum. That's never happened before. Uh, revival pack here for Shrip Ming. And we will strip them this revival pack. And what do we find here? It is a, ooh, they actually needed this, Return of the King. This makes my play set, so I'm glad I got to pull this. I'm not a big King Vegeta player, but this is the first time they actually introduced sideways cards. So this and the Demonic Restraint, the other uh, promo, these are the first sideways cards ever printed in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. And then they followed with in Battle Evolution Booster with the sideways secret rare. So, you know, trying some different stuff. I respect that. It's, it's exciting to see new things in the game. But guys, this has been the Shrip. Em. Oh, I can't forget. We have this blister pack. So let's see, you know, maybe there's a secret rare inside this blister pack. The only way to know is if we Shrip them. I thought, you know, it'd be fun to just throw one blister in with a booster. This is gonna be kind of a nuisance to open, but there it is. All right, Sin Shenron. So, you know, hopefully it'll be the Kai secret rare. Yokai, Yokai, Yokai. And let's see what do we get here. It must most definitely be. Oh, all right. Hey, that's not bad. That's a good SR. Dark Mask saying De devilish dominator. Um, I think this card's really cool. It's got a lot of value. It comes out for four and uh it's got deflect and triple strike and i'm pretty sure you can untap it if you have cards in your warp so very very good card that's a great blister pull and acrylin shiny Krillin, all right so guys that has been the shrimp i hope you guys have enjoyed the shrimp you know i am a dentist i can't end without doing a dental tooth tip so i do recommend using a toothpaste with fluoride fluoride doesn't actually strengthen your enamel what it does is it bonds to your enamel and it creates a crystalline structure outside of your enamel which acts as a secondary protective layer the toothpaste i recommend is called pro enamel it has stannous fluoride and then the fluoride works a lot more effectively uh, i would recommend using that if you have any tooth sensitivity or if you just want to make your enamel one layer stronger and your teeth that much stronger because they are crystals you got to appreciate them and they are valuable to replace if you need to. So if you guys enjoyed this shrimp, em, please take the time to hit that subscription button. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you for your continued support. I hope you guys enjoy the Demon Slayer movie if you are seeing it. And I will see you guys next time.